And we're back at La Isla. It is in Isabel's interest we find that contract. The Queen will realize Samento was forced into the deal. The contract? It is gone! The Beforeans must have stolen it during the attack. I... How did I fall for such a simple diversion? Seductive charts bury okay. my desk. So we need to follow that lead now and create an expedition based on that. Finding the contract for the sale of Prosperity Island is crucial if you are to prove that your father had no part in it. Okay, let's assign a ship to that. The morale of Skipjack is quite I'll high. Never get seasick. We need some rations, ratios. First, let's take the fish and diplomacy. Hmm. Perhaps some coffee? Nope. That doesn't work. Some alpaca. Ceasefire has ended. Only good for crafting. There's some medicine here, but I have got, I've got nothing for diplomacy really. Some crafting here. Exchange the trading post. Sleepy Hollow. No, let's just take it like that. And we have almost everything, so let's start the expedition for that and find the contract. So my ship is on its way now. And we can only wait, so let's wait a few seconds before we see what happens. And let's see what happens. The Perforian pursuit. Perforians are escaping with the contract. The smoke of battle the provided a perfect cover for a small sick. craft that's now racing clear of the skirmish. The entire assault the must have been a diversion so they could sick. sneak out with the papers. You and Hunter may never know the truth unless you get them back. They have quite a high head start, but you might catch them if you give chase. Alternatively, as few harbors nearby will grant them sanctuary, you can try to anticipate your likely, likely heading. So let's let them run and instead try to establish their likely destination. 50% chance. Your there, we have them. Are starting to get sick. Your navigator smiles. See here, their finger traces a route behind Ventura Island. Remarkably, how few options they have. Montoya Ship is the only port they might blend in at for 50 leagues. Sure enough, you're intercepted with one of the tiny vessels Sometimes of Montoya's twinkling bay. It may no match uh, for your own ship, but to sink them outright risk losing the precious contract to the watcher. Let's try to disable them. Your people are healthy again. Miles off, your novice gunners are so desperate to avoid striking the enemy in the any meaningful way, a small inoffensive patch of sea ends I. up taking up the brunt instead. Sensing the tiny ship is a match for yours after all, the Perforians pump flame from their dragon cannon and give your ship a good licking. The ensuing panic provides the cover they need to slip away. Okay. Let's continue and see if we can do anything else here. My bannermen tread new soil. So that we find another solution to that. And a new expedition. Let's see what happens next. We are now in Montoya. That contract and those Periphorians must be here in Montoya, but where? The city sprawls before you under a pestle blue sky, the distinctive white walls and terracotta of Imperial La Corona glowing softly along the narrow estuary where the mixed codal meets the ocean. Okay, let's ask the, the locals. And there's only one that is willing to help us, that is the Great Plainsman. Now I'm not going to threaten him, I'm going to trade something. Some fish. Perhaps he likes fish. But he doesn't. Nope. So we cannot do that. And he's unwilling to risk his life for such a scant reward. Let's threaten him, I guess. But I don't have the items on my ship, you know, so that is that is a problem problem here. And he's seen enough of that lifetime, so he's not threatened by me. Um, let's find a way to sneak in, but it's all just 10% chance or something. And... A remarkably effective cure. We actually managed to, to sneak into the warehouse, but we have not found Your the contract. Are healthy again. 
So let's continue on the journey on this text adventure that is the expeditions. And this is the next sta stage of the expedition. Hopefully it's the Could last one. We are now man. here in the... Um, in the outpost. So let's... What should we do? Let's try it bold. Launching an attack. Um, let's be sneaky or let's be crafty. Send someone in dressed as one of the congregations. We don't have anything for the crafting. Um, I don't think that it's stated crafting. That we need something for crafting because I had the materials for that. So we have an assault, but we played you sneaky. Influence bonus. Let's try to be sneaky. Your able scout climbs over the fence, starting nimbly between flower beds and under the broad umbrella of a royal poinciana. Its blossoms red as blood. Okay. The festival has ended. So we have been ca uh, caught. Knock through the glass with a sword hilt to turn the handle. And the glass does not give in and the noise is alarming. So what should we do now? Should we target the nearest guard? Or climb the nearest tree? Let's climb the nearest tree. Let's try to be passive for now. And your scout manages to climb fast enough to avoid being spotted. Perfect. You cannot find that contract soon enough though. So... Search the library, search the assembly hall, or search the study. A contract. Let's search the study. Yar, booty. We haven't found the contract, it seems, but we have found an Aureus coin. A fire consumes one of your factories. And your infilt infiltrator has the place to themselves. Of that contract, there is no sign. Okay, except the gold coin. So let's search the library. Rejoice, the contract is right here. Perfect, we have found the contract. The fire Finally. Has been vanquished. And now I think we need to wait for the expedition to come home. Is that right? Ah, there's nothing else happening right now. So I think we just need to wait for the expedition to come home or to see the next I stage. Knew this crew wouldn't let and you down. my expedition has returned. Let's see what they have found. Easily. So after weeks of trials and tribulations, your expedition comes home safely. You finally have your hands on the prosperity, prosperity contract. There it is. We have found it. There is a new achievement here. The truth uncovered. And we've also found this coin here. Increases attractiveness of 30. Steady her course. You beat that is that. The at their own game. Well done, Eldest. You have served both Isabel and the Empire greatly. Isabel Sarmento. Her Royal Highness the Queen requires you to give up your iniquitous seizure of prosperity, an island which by no means... Oh, do stop, Archie. Is this tiny fleet all I have to sink to get my island back? Maybe nothing need be sunk at all, Majesty. Who are you to speak up without permission? Uh, this is one of the good children I mentioned. A little forward, but surprisingly helpful so far. Regard here, Your Majesty. The prosperity contract and our father's diary. The signatures do not match. And now, compare with a freight document by our Uncle Edvard. Do you see? He forged the signature in order to impersonate father. So, Edvard is the traitor! I certainly never authorized that silly Billy to act on my behalf. I declare the contract null and void. Then we too were betrayed. We will leave prosperity immediately, your majesty. Then I suppose we'll not be sinking any ships today. Not even as a deterrent? <laughs> Terribly sorry, your majesty, but I fear not. Well, 
In that case, I hereby declare prosperity returned to the good children to compensate the dead father, thereby ensuring Miss Saramento and co. are safe from this perforian nuisance. They are more than a nuisance, and they will never accept this. You must be careful. We hear you, Isabel, but first we return to Bright Sands and confront Uncle Edvard. His wicked masquerade is over. I am sorry you had to go through all this just to have justice. For the first time in my life, I know freedom. I sense you have news. Edvard was the cause of all our grief. To see his face when he discovers we know. Edvard is behind this? He's pathetic. Whatever the punishment, the damage to Edvard is already done. Okay, chapter 4. The torch passes and we are back in the old world. Edvard is as good as dead to me. Edvard! I told you he was rotten as a fig. We confront Edvard this instant. I have so very many words for him. Okay, I need to deliver that. For all the right reasons. Um, prosperity awarded to good siblings. War between Queen and rebel Sarmento over prosperity prevented. Good siblings find proof of Samuel's innocence in indisputable guilt of their uncle, scoundrel Edward, found to have sold prosperity to Isabel unlawfully. Okay, so now we need to deliver that contract to the lighthouse. Stations. Should be in my trading post, as far as I can see. There it is. Aye. Let's take it on my schooner and deliver it to Edward and see what he says about that. Edward, good. And he still hasn't finished his exhibition. He's quite slow on that, it seems. There's my ship coming, and we'll see what he says. Are you just going to stand by? What do you do here at the family crypt, Edvard? Do you vaunt your betrayal? What are you talking about, child? Only words between brothers, that's all. Liar! You are the picture of regret. From the moment I saw you, I knew it meant trouble. Enough! It was you who sold prosperity for the Perforians. You forged Father's signature. You sentenced him to death. But now, the sentence is on you, Uncle. I knew this would happen. I was just saying to your father, I'll never come up to him. Not even having sacrificed it all. He never understood the pain of my life in his shadow. You don't understand pain. Real pain. I can't be scared. No more than I am already. The Parforians are pure evil. I thought I had control of this frightful arrangement, but when they murdered Samuel, I realized a day would come that they came for me, too. The day they purge this decaying empire with fire and flame. But another tiresome prophet of doom, Archie. How dreary. Lo and behold, Her Majesty. 
Finally, I become worthy of her notice. Well, momentarily at least. Mr. Edvard Good, you are to be placed under house arrest in Bright Sands until the time of your trial. Yes, guilty as charged. And your guilt shall long outlive you, Uncle. Look what you've done to our family. There will be punishment. But Edvard has suffered from the day Samuel died. As savior in the new world, Her Majesty agrees that you should host this prestigious trial. Once built, your court of justice shall inaugurate a new era of peace and prosperity for Empire. Okay, we need to build Forget that court me. of justice. My race is run. A true devil is loose. It must be vanquished. And that is the foundation here. I will indulge not one of the thousand apologies I presume he has ready. They just built it here, so I didn't place it there. Can I replace it somewhere? No. Okay, so I just need to build it here. Let's start the first phase. I do have the materials for that. We must prepare for a reckoning. Edvard was never the true enemy. Well, let's see what comes out of that. So, we have started the first phase, or the second phase, and we need 100 tons of timber and 100 tons, or 50 tons of steel beams. And we do have that, so we just need to wait now for this to finish. So let's wait real quick. Well, time flies by fast. We're almost done with this phase here. Let's just wait it out. I don't see any workers here, so I think it just builds itself automatically. And we should be done with that phase now. Done. Let's finish it. Yeah, I think we have built up enough trust with Isabel to rely on her as a witness. Okay, now the second phase has started. Of course, and now we see some people here. After all you've done for us. It's a beautiful location, I though, am sorry right you beside had to the go waterfall. All this just to have justice. Right, and while this is happening, we have another quest here. We have to build two mounted guns, two cannon towers, and one repair crane. I don't know why. Do we expect an attack, perhaps? We'll see. We want to forge something new. Break away from the old. So let's build two cannon... ...towers here. Sometimes you just have to take a cudgel to other people. And two mounted guns. May I express my gratitude for your sterling work preserving peace on the continent? And one repair crane. Let's see where that is. I think it's over here. And there's the repair crane. Let's build it to the shipyard. Okay, we just need one more mounted gun. We need some more um, weapons for that. And there's also another thing. Prosperity for all. Select the new world prosperity trading post. Let's go to the new world. Your people are rioting. And we there it is. Thank you enough for preventing this war. Let me help you. I know I can make a difference. Okay, so it's ours now. There are no buildings on it anymore though. But I think yeah, she just gave the island to us now. So we could build something here if we want to. I don't want to right now, so we just have the island now. And we're done with this one here too. So La Isla, big enough for my taste. I don't want to start now building a huge town here in the campaign mode, so we're going back to the old world. And see if we have the guns that we need to build for the second gun tower. So it's the mountain guns and we do have enough. 
So we finish this one here. Some defenses for our harbor that we need. And now we just need to wait a bit again. So let's just wait. So after a few minutes of waiting, we should be done with this phase now. And we can finish it. And there's is one the last of phase. Finished yet? Not quite. With windows and bricks. Lucky for us, we have enough windows. Trial, so this one must be important. Oh, so this is the front after all. I thought the front was here. The queen certainly speaks her mind. Okay, so let's do that. Let's wait it out again, so we can finish this one here. There's no other thing here, no other quest anymore. So I think we're at, we're coming to the end of this chapter. Let's wait. And this phase is done now too. So let's finish the courtyard, shall we? The court of justice. The court of justice, magnificent. That is a beautiful building indeed. I hardly dare interrupt the miraculous transformation of your island, but Her Majesty is rather keen to get on with things. Did Archie tell you I planned to visit? I hope there's a convenient mooring for my flagship. I don't like long walks. Her Majesty has been ever so much looking forward to seeing her new court of justice. I hope you'll be ready. I hope so too. I'm just going to make this a bit more beautiful here. also get rid of that warehouse here and just have some normal houses here again like so so the court of justice is done and the queen has arrived let's see what she has to say where are all the witnesses your majesty isabel sarmento at your service i hope as witness, I can prove the Praforians were behind this deal, not us. This is tremendous exposure! The Royal Court of Justice built. The fire left ruins behind. A modern queen. I need to pick something ship up from her, so I think I need to get a ship to her. And Let's see. The defendant? Gather your things, Edvard, for your trial. No, child. It's too late. Judgment has already come. Look! Devils from below breathing fire and flame! Edvard Good, are you ready to be reunited with your brother? I am. Of course you are. The heat will peel your sins from your flesh like cloth. Acolytes, purge the place! Yes, Grandmaster! Gladly! If only Father were here, he'd have known what to do. No, please, don't be afraid. It's time to let go. My ship has sailed. No! Samuel will forgive you on the other side, Edvard. Pathetic. But then surely Samuel awaits you too. The whole good family can be reunited in the everlasting. We squeezed the life from your father's lungs, peeled your uncle's skin. 
You must be curious as to what we plan for you. We are not afraid of cowards hiding behind masks. A new world order is at stake. The Empire already shaking to its foundations, and the good family helpless to prevent it. We first eradicate the offspring, and then eradicate the Queen. What is that tinseled marionette talking about, Archie? We are safe here, aren't we? As safe as the situation allows, Highness. Their fleet is formidable. I count many ships. No, oh, you are awfully right, old chum. I beseech you, we must protect Her Majesty at any cost. Your people are starting to get sick. Okay. So we need to defend her now? The That's a big battle. Bright sands. They enchain it to their foul cause. I do have quite some ships, so destroy Good and the fleet. Favorites Where are the they? Royal Council. Over there. How I've enjoyed watching your family's slow and ignoble demise. Oh, okay, so we need to defend the harbor. They're approaching our harbor. That's good for us. So it's going to be step by step, I think. Yes, look at that. So was destroyed. All of a sudden, if they would come all of a sudden to me, well, that would be a problem. But like this, I think we should be good. Let's have another cannon. Edvard, father, the only way we can. On the moon. Your harbor is under attack. And the end of all empire. It's the headline. And do we have to destroy them now all at once? Because that would be a bit. I'm confident it's ready to go. A lot, to be honest. Look at that. That's the fleet that we have to destroy. And I need to construct 16 out. frigates or 10 ship of the line ships to destroy that fleet. So we need quite some cannons for that. And so let's get to it. Let's build a fleet. 